What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and I'm not exactly sure what is going to happen in this video. I just know that today is my second and last day in London, England and right now it's kind of like a, right now what we're just shopping. We're in the inner city, we're in a place called uh, Oxford Circus which is full of a whole bunch of really really nice uh, shopping places. I bought a whole bunch of stuff and right now I'm actually headed to one of the things I wanted to see the most while I was in England. Now obviously I have a lot of things on my list because I wanted to see almost everything I could in England while I was here but one thing I wanted to hit was one, Oxford Circus in two, something that was next to Oxford Circus, the OVO store. Now, as many of you guys know, I'm a, I'm a big Drake fan. I've, I've been a Drake fan since I was like a little kid. He's got his own clothing brand and I don't own anything from it. Like not, no stickers, no pins, no clothes, no nothing. So I definitely got it. I had to pull up. I had to come and, and see what they got, but I'm really excited about that. So we're going to hit that. And then in terms of what else is happening in this video, I'm honestly not sure at all. We're going to have to figure it out. So this is so dope. Oh my god, I'm buying so much, it's a problem. I'm buying a lot. Like I said, I knew I'd go crazy. I got a hat, I got two sweaters, I got some shirts, you know what it is, man. Shout out OVO store. This this was uh this was amazing. That was a yeah, it was you know it was hella worth it, I'll say what that was. That was hella worth it. I'm glad we got one. We actually got one in Los Angeles. It's hella small, but we still have one, so I gotta check that one out too next time I go down, which actually I think I'm going down next week before uh before Dortmund. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a packed week, but I might have to check that out while I'm down there. Regardless though, let's let's go get lunch, man. It's like four o'clock, I haven't eaten yet. Before we eat our lunch, we do have some eggs popping off we have at least five eggs popping off i think these are all two kilometer eggs oh nice a two kilometer eggs and uh lolan eggs these are all going to be pretty fire finally get some pokemon go action in the video cherubi hatch right there which is did that did you guys see that you guys saw that right that alone no 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 yanma that alolan egg before my own eyes turned into a five kilometer egg huh they gotta fix these, bro. All right, so we can already we can already tell that some eggs are gonna be skipped in this, but that's okay. Ella kid, oh my god, if that was shiny, I would have been I would have been really really hyped. Six sixty nine, um, bruh, that's a that's a fat L if I've ever seen one. You know what? That's a great memento. I will definitely take a fat L. I'm not mad about that. And now that we got those eggs popped off, let's check our recents. Come on. Oh man, we could have got some shinies there. We didn't get we didn't get anything though. Could have got a shiny Smoochum, Togepi, Badoo, Pichu, but we got absolutely nothing. Um, that's a good Badoo right there. This Pichu might be okay as well. Never mind. Okay, so not the worst egg hatches right there. We had eight go off. Oh wait, this Charmander too. Yeah, we definitely have this Charmander. Oh, that was a 10, 10, 10, I think. That was, I think that was a 10, 10, 10. Or some three numbers that are the same because it had HP, attack, and defense, but not the greatest stats. So there we go. There's that little egg hatch right there. We also have this reward to hatch five eggs, which I don't remember what it, Chansey. Okay, that's why I kind of, that's why I didn't do it. Because I remember that the reward for this wasn't the craziest, but I guess I had the eggs and I ended up popping them off. So free Chansey with free 12 candy. I guess I'll take it. One, two, three. Down goes Chansey right there. Five, 12 CP. We got the 12 candies as well. IVs on it were trash we're gonna go ahead and trade that after um not much to do around here whoops not much to do around here let me see if there's any raids possibly there are a couple are they around though kind of kind of i'm not too sure before we do anything else though we're gonna go have some uh we're gonna go have some lunch i couldn't come to england and not try fish and chips so we're here at uh i believe it's called the golden union the golden union and we're gonna have we're gonna have fish and chips right now, so super excited about that. Let's uh, let's eat, bro. I'm hungry. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I, I'm never able, to, or I always forget how to pronounce what I'm talking about. So we got some fish and chips right here. I think this is called haddock or haddock, but regardless, it's fat and it's about to be really really good. Got a banana shake right there. Got a little bread roll or whatever. This is gonna get destroyed, and then I believe we're heading to the Buckingham Palace. And we've arrived at the Buckingham Palace. We're actually in a Kyogre raid because there's one right here on this huge humongous statue with like a fountain with those other statues around it and there's a fountain behind it but there's a Kyogre raid on it and I saw one person in it and I was like eh we'll hop in and see what happens there's five people this is the first Kyogre raid we've done I don't have a party ready no and they're oh my god I have such bad counters they don't even, I didn't even think about it they didn't what kind of counters are these Pokemon go six Tyranitars oh this is this is gonna suck this is gonna suck. All right, I'm just gonna pick Mewtwo, Electivire. This is tough. Uh, that's probably got a grass move set. That's got a grass move set, I think. And then Jolteon. Okay, that was a, a last minute squad. Actually, pretty fire. I'm not even mad about that. It looks like we only have five people for this raid, so this literally might take the entire 300 seconds or close to it. All right, I'm doing my best. I got Sceptile in right now. I gotta make sure that I pay attention. Is that an execute? Dog, you don't have anything. <laughs> 
Bro, I mean, I understand he was level 21, but at 21, don't you have, don't you have better? No, no, no. Oh no, he's got Blizzard too. That makes it so much harder. We got Kyogre in the yellow. We got 50 seconds left. I think if we re if we rehop in this and I get good counters like from the from the get go, and I probably make a group or just you know we use the max revives uh, at the intermission and dodge and all that. I think there's a chance we can take this down. I really do. Um, hopefully everyone stays with us. Hopefully nobody leaves. Yeah, GG. <laughs> no way. No way. No way we're taking this down. I'm gonna try to hop back in. Hopefully they come with me. If they do, you guys will see a Kyogre raid. If they don't, I'll let you guys know that they, 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 they're cowards. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They catted though. More than likely, this is just gonna be uh, not, not successful. I'll try. Actually, I'm gonna guarantee it's not gonna be successful because they left. <laughs> They, dip, they ditched me. They ditched me to, to take down a Kyogre by myself. Um, okay, well, GG Kyogre, you're, you're definitely gonna win this one. Wow, okay, okay. So obviously I've not been recording a lot throughout the day. It is now 10 o'clock, about 10.30 o'clock at night. Um, I think the last time I recorded was around like four. Anyways, <laughs> man. Just got off the train on my way home, and guess what we got, ladies and gentlemen. I said I wanted to get one of these while in a different country, and ladies and gentlemen, happened. We got ourselves another shiny. We got shiny Snubble in Pokemon Go. Full odds, 715, weather boosted. That's getting a Golden Raspberry Ultra Ball. You know what it is, man. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Like, really? The luck... The I mean, yo, first of all, let's hit it. Second of all, the luck is just insane. I mean, like... Like, is it possible? Can you really coach what's going on? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. Let me know if you guys think so in the comments, but let's be honest. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Shiny Snubble, full odds in the wild. 715 CP. IVs are trash. What's new? That is crazy. If I didn't have a Grand Ball ready, I would evolve this right away. There is our memento from the trip. Wow. I was not expect. I, I wasn't expecting to pull the camera out for the rest of the day. I don't know what I was gonna do with the footage I had, but I was like, all right, camera's gonna go in the bag. You know, I'll figure it out down the road, whatever. That is amazing. That's awesome. I'm very happy about that. Again, if I if I want if I really needed to evolve this, I would because that means a lot to me. But we got shiny Growlithe in Italy, and then we get shiny Snubble in England. That is that's awesome, bro. Everywhere we, I think almost everywhere we've gone, we've gotten a shiny. That's incredible. Literally the first click at this little park right here. So that was very, very nice. No other shiny checks yet, but I will I will keep checking, of course. Uh, ooh, sent two send 10 gifts to friends. I don't even know what those, I'm pretty sure that reward's like pretty good. So I'm gonna get that done throughout the uh, throughout the day. But we've got a seal quest right here. <laughs> back to back would've been nuts. I will catch that seal later. Also, somebody reminded me on uh, on the comments of my last video that I forgot to get Smeargle, or they reminded me to get Smeargle, and I leave England in about 12 hours. So right now, the pri absolute priority is to get Smeargle. Wow, I haven't done this in so long. We're hopping in on a Kyogre raid, and this is gonna be a raid that we're actually going to take down. Yes, this is not gonna be a waste of time. I have not completed a legendary raid in about three, maybe four, nah, I would say three weeks, which is crazy to me because as you guys know, I raid an absolute ton, but I haven't been home for three weeks, dude. I was in Chicago and then I came back for like less than 15 hours and then I flew to Italy and then I flew to London and I just got back about an hour and a half ago. So I've literally not been home for like almost a month now. Obviously it was super worth it and I had an amazing time, but I definitely missed raiding, man. Again, I have not, by the way, I don't have my, uh, I don't have my counter set up, so this is just the recommended, hence why I'm getting rocked right now. I never thought I'd be so excited to do a legendary raid in my life, man. <laughs> like, like you guys saw earlier, man, we just, it's tough, it's a tough, thing to do if you don't got people. Like I said though, man, I am pretty exhausted from traveling. Oh yeah, and by the way, I don't think I've mentioned this like like officially, I'm going to Dortmund. I'm going to Dortmund Go Fest. I'm gonna be there on the first day to play and all that. So in about, what, six days here, I leave again to Germany for a week. So yeah, man, I'm literally, like I might as well not even be home because I'm gonna be gone so much. And then I come back from Germany and I relax and like breathe for a second. And then I go to uh, Go Fest Yokohama. So like, yeah, not much of a not much of a summer at home but it's all good Calgary right down right there the 100% IV is 2351 I got a feeling I don't know man I haven't raided in like three weeks uh, well complete successfully raided in like three weeks you think they'll reward me all right well we got eight balls right here shiny Kogar can you reward me oh my gosh they're not gonna reward me oh 
23-13 too. Not a good Kyogre, not a shiny. I thought I had a feeling, man. I thought they would, you know, kind of entice me to, or like a like a welcome home gift, you know? Like, hey, you haven't raided in three weeks, welcome home. Never mind. Well, we still got the rest of the day, so I'm not worried. Kyogre. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if you guys remember. Kyogre and I, uh, not the greatest of friends, so I don't know how well these raids are gonna go. I'm not really the biggest, I mean, I, I like Kyogre, I do, I just, we just don't get along like that, so. No good IVs, no shinies, but we got some more raids to do. And here we are hopping into that second Kyogre raid. Uh, we actually have 20 people, so we're gonna be absolutely fine. Kyogre's gonna get rocked. We're gonna be fine, we got some good grass and electric type counters. Do not ask why I have two charged attacks on this Electivire, um, but because we're gonna talk about it. It's because I accidentally put a charge attack on it because the button is still so inconveniently placed. Um, I've definitely done that. I've made that mistake a couple of times now and it's not, not, fun at all. Down goes Kyogre right there, hoping for a 2351 or a shiny, of course. Let me know in the comments if you guys got yourselves a shiny Kyogre or a good IV Kyogre. Here we go, we got nine balls. You know what? The balls don't matter as long as we get a shiny. Never mind, 2351. Oh my gosh. Definitely not a good Kyogre right there. I literally, I have one hand, so there's no way I can make this throw with a curveball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe I should have just stayed away. Maybe I shouldn't have came back to raiding. <laughs> Definitely not having the best welcome home party. God, I hate Kyogre. Just don't have good luck with the guy. He just, I mean, you know, you know, like there's just some people you just don't get along with. Like, there's no problems. He's just, he's just not the best of friends. That's mean Kyogre, man. For some, for whatever reason, the guy just doesn't like me. I mean, I'm not tripping doesn't really matter i got a good kyogre i got my two shinies this is just for fun i'm literally just chucking it i mean they're bad ivs i don't even need kyogre i don't even oh my god <laughs> i think i hit it like twice out of the eight balls who cares man we got some more kyogre race to do we need to get a shiny and we need to get a good iv one so let's go ahead and do that and here we are going in on the final kyogre raid of the adventure hopefully we can get some better luck with this one because as you guys have seen in the in the three kyogre raids we've done in this video they've all been pretty uh pretty pretty not good at all but already halfway down on Kyogre we do have 10 people again going for the hundred going for the shiny trying to get something going I don't know when Kyogre leaves I feel like it leaves kind of soon but I'm not exactly sure regardless I'm just way more excited for Groudon one because I don't have any shiny Groudon so when I do get it gonna be hyped two because for the most part most of the Groudons I'm gonna get here in California are gonna be weather boosted. Kyogre on the other hand it doesn't really rain here too much and it's summertime so no weather boosted Kyogre is coming anytime soon. Down it goes 2351 is what we're hoping for. Let's see what we're actually gonna get. All right let's see I'm just gonna speed through it. Go 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 and give me my shiny now. Oh, I just speeding through it was not it. Ah 2320 not gonna be they really counted that as a throw, dog. Did they really count that as a throw? All right, I have to catch this. I, there's no way I go through this whole video without without even being close on catching Calgars. Man, I was asking a lot with that small circle right there. One, two, and three. Thank you. We got one Kyogre today out of the three that we did. So, or out of the four that we did. So nice. Twenty-three twenty. That's actually not that bad of a Kyogre. It's got fifteen HP on it, but that's not really. Uh, it's not really going to be too great. Rattata, shiny, I'm down, no. The video is not over yet though, because we had such bad luck with Kyogre, I do want to make this video a little bit more spicy. Plus, I forgot to mention that we did get ourselves that uh, that England Smeargle right there. It was a 110 CP. This took, uh, I think I counted it, it was somewhere like 60, 60 AR pictures of 60 different Pokemon to get this. I almost didn't get this because I got this at the airport, so very happy I got that literally last minute. Anyways, we're gonna do a spicy evolution right now. Let's do it. We're gonna go ahead and do this right now. We have a 100% IV Apom from 2017. I've had this thing for almost, almost coming up on two years. So I've been waiting for Ampabom and I don't have one yet. So this is gonna be a Pokedex evolution. My first 100% IV generation four Pokemon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do the evolution right now. Make sure to let me know if, in the comments if you guys have a Ampabom yourselves. Here we go, 100% IV going down. I don't know how useful it's gonna be, but it's awesome. Boom, there we go. Ampabom, one of the most interesting Pokemon in the game. Throw it in the Pokedex, you know what it is, and it's 100%. I'm really happy about that. One of my favorite Hundos, 1381, so it's it's Great League eligible if normal types are gonna be that useful. I'll take it though, man. That's a really dope Hundo to have. Again, a Hundo collection video coming very soon here, so don't worry about that. 
got a Stonish and Aerial Ace on it. Cool. That was actually a hatch from GoFest two years ago. Wow. Okay. That's actually going to be the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. Let me know if you guys got Shiny Snubble or Ampabomb or uh, if you guys have got a Shiny or Good Kyogre from this event. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your faces and I'll see your faces later. Deuces.